Make it quick, Doctor. I'm trying, sir, but there's still a lot of refugees to treat. Do we have any idea how many came on board? Best guess between 350 and 400. You'll get an exact number soon. Is that all? Yes, sir. What about my request for more hands? Sorry, Doc. You're gonna have to make do with what you have. When we reach the Titan, they'll be able to help. Aye. And, sir, I know there are a lot of rumblings about taking on all of these refugees, but for what it's worth, I do think it was a good thing. Thank you, Lieutenant. And so we wait for the game to deign to load for us. Now, I'm not going to criticize the game for not loading or anything like that. The fact is that the rather impressive environments of Battlefield usually makes it take time to load. Wrecker! Damn, dude, you were thrashing about. Bad dream? Why am I sleeping in my clothes? Two hours about up anyway. I'm not a, not just clothes. I'm sleeping in my full combat kit. And if the marine tells the truth about it being hot, you wouldn't just sleep with your gloves and boots on. Ah, uh, not going to criticize that. Maybe he's on alert or something like that, but then again, why would he be in... Ah, never mind. What were you saying? Please tell me all that navigation, sonar, cooling shit's not on us to fix. This is the big list. At least we have propulsion. God bless Diesel. Why is that? Those spark plugs. Thank God engines were already running when the EMP hit. Someone lost the keys years ago. All right. Wait a minute. I need to check something. Sorry about this, but I really need to do this. Yep. Uh, the subtitles says this guy is a marine, but he wears the uniform of the U.S. Navy. Now. There is no way in hell a U.S. Navy man would accept being called a Marine. Because the Marine is not... It's not just a different profession and style of soldier. It is pretty much a whole different branch. There are four branches in the U.S. military. Navy is one, Marines is one. Also, this makes the entire tombstone thing a bit interesting as well. Are they US Navy or are they Marines or are they SOCOM or are they just the dispendable idiots who have it just happened to survive everything they've been thrown at instead of dying like I think it's what they're intended to do. Now we're supposed to look for Irish and I think he ought to be somewhere along this way. Now I think I'm going up the wrong corridor but I'm doing that mi Mainly just because it would be highly annoying to pretty much anyone who's watching this. I mean, if you are going to request of me that I am going to suffer through this. Weather and binoculars. Hundred years ago, it would kick ass. Now we're blind as bats. Fucking Chinese. We don't know who's the Chinese. You want to bet? Hundred bucks it was them. We rendezvous with the Titan. We'll know for sure. Hey, Station 6! You got anything? Negative, we've seen nothing, but there's land pretty close somewhere. Uh, yeah, you mean the gulls? We're still able to navigate the old-fashioned way, you know. The garrison pull out his old maps yet? Get back to work! I haven't talked to home since before They still the call them Marines. Oh, must think we disappeared. Why we do they call them the Marines? The yeah, maybe. Still want to get a call through myself. These are sailors. They are not marines. God damn it. This is most likely a marine. I'm saying most likely because it's not really obvious. And 
How many grenades do you carry around on a regular basis? I, I don't think you have a grenade launcher to that thing. But for some reason, your entire belt seems to consist of 40 millimeter grenades. I'm out of here before he blows up. I'm just gonna get out of here before he blows up. He's going to blow up. Also, have you guys noticed all the foreshadowing about the Titan? Gee, I wonder what the hell is going to happen with the Titan. Yeah, because there's going to be a lot of them on board. The EMP strike gave us all a pile of surprises. Sergeant, so today is far from over. Trevor. Take your guys at least the they're mentioning him as a sailor, a so there's that. Still. You gotta look at the main feeds here and check that the sewage clears. All right. Next, we have to get aircon and filtering. I'm not going to line. just sit the there and listen to the damage board. reports. Starting section B4 and E9. Still not sure if I'm going the right way, but it's fun. Yeah, this guy is most likely a marine, and he too have a lot of 44 millimeter grenades. And I just don't understand why. And why do you have your balaclava on indoors? It's not like it's neat. I mean, I mean you're on duty on everything, but surely you need you could be exempt from the balaclava. Clowns brought the whole damn city on board. Turned us into a shelter for people we ought to leave the fuck alone. They're the enemy. Okay, so. Handed over to the Titan soon, though. Guess that lets you off the hook. All hands. The medical officer reports a shortage of blood. There is a large number of wounded refugees in need of medical attention. Sign in at the med bay to donate blood. So this guy is wearing a combat shirt without any markings or ranks whatsoever. Fairly sure that's not something you're supposed to do. And this guy is also wearing the combat shirt with no markings whatsoever. Fuck that. And another guy with no markings whatsoever. And the same cap. Why do I even bother? Why do we even have the standard regulations? Oh god, not you. Her husband was talking a few minutes ago. The dude's head trauma might be more severe than we thought. Don't know, don't care. You can't go in there, man. Are you insane? My husband's in there. I'm sorry. Let me in. Who's in charge here? Would you please step back, ma'am? She's on our side. Let her through, squids. No, Pack! No! The squids are sailors! These are obviously your heads! Come on! What are you doing this to me, you fucking game? These are your heads! These are marines! They are not squids! What the actual fuck? Stop mixing up the fucking branches! Alright, can I get out of here? Yes, I can, but I'm obviously not supposed to. I'm... Oh, and I'm supposed to follow this whiny asshole with five US flags on... I mean, this guy is some kind of reject. This guy is what makes the Special Forces special. I mean, five US flags, he gets the branches wrong. He is no fucking use in combat, and I am... Can I shoot him? Please. Please. This is just unbearable at this point. Yeah, uh, you want me to open the door now? Fuck you. He's your teammate. That's just bad cohesion. Yeah, Again, but the problem here is right? I am the team leader, you're not, and I didn't talk. It, Since I didn't talk, I didn't overrule his decision. Fuck you. Hey, Irish! 
back. What's up, kid? Here you go. That kind of tone is the tone you use when you want to pick a fight with someone. Hey, count 396 survivors. Mostly women and children. You did a good thing, right? Yeah. Hey. Come on, man. You're not buying into that they're the enemy bullshit. No, of course not. But it wasn't your call to make. Don't put Wrecker in charge. Yeah, but I don't talk. I mean, come on. Pat. That's what the, the thing. The fuck is this about? I the right do thing a not call, man. get to you know talk. What? Let's take it upstairs. I answer the garrison. There's a problem. No, you won't answer. Squad leader will. Still, your squad leader is some kind Under of weird mute. Circumstances, this ship would be hard pressed to accommodate 400 refugees. If Garrison's pissed, he's pissed. It was the right thing to do. The presentation needs work, Irish. Why did I get stuck with this team? I mean, they can't fight, and all they do is whine, and none of them... Oh, God, no. Yeah, I called it. Mother of God. At Look. least these are actual sailors. Well, most of them. This guy in the comment shirt most likely aren't, but still. Yeah, and the Titan got hit. Big fucking whoop. So many bodies. Tombstone! Where the fuck is Tombstone? Sergeant Wrecker, bring your men with me. You're, You're asking where the fuck on, Tombstone is, and we're standing right below you. I mean, why? Also, uh, didn't they say such many bodies or something like that? I can't spot a single one. Fuck it. Let's just, let's just load up and get going. Clock's ticking on the tight. I need eyes on board before she's lost forever to the deep blue. There's a number of variables in play. We don't know who attacked him or if they'll be back. Can't afford any surprises. Tombstone won't let you down. Sergeant Record. Agent Kovic's taking the reins. I will obey his orders as if they're my own. Permission to speak, sir. But Captain Sergeant Record. not having this discussion, Irish. We'll obey your squad leader. I'll make room for any survivors. Setting the Valkyrie in a defensive posture, one click east of the Titan. Agent Kovic. Most of your squad. We search the Titan for intel and survivors. Gear up. Weapons and rebreathers. At least he seems to know what he's doing, and he can talk. I mean, the fact that he can talk makes him a rather valuable member of the crew. Uh, let's see here. We're supposed to arm up. There is a part of me that wants to load up with a submachine with a light machine gun. But then again, there's also a part of me that wants to go with the AK-5 or G-46C. Or maybe just go with the standard M4. But I know partly that what I want the most is not going to matter all that much. I could do with a 416, but 416 sights are just awful. I mean, why on earth did they implement a great weapon customization system just to discard it in single player. They didn't do that in Hardline. In Hardline you can choose your weapons and how to equip them very well. I mean, it's basically just pick and choose. But here they decided that no, uh, you're not allowed to do that. So I could bring the CBA and the AK-5 or I could go for the U-100. The U-100 is pretty nice, but since it's a bipod weapon, it means I won't have anything to place it on. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff you usually don't see me do. I mean, this is me having a serious... Con just anxiety. Not really anxiety, but I don't really know what to pick. So I'll just browse around a bit until I find something I feel that fits. Well, the M4 has iron sights, and I kind of like that. I mean, it's, it also has laser sight, muscle break, and an ergo grip, which makes it a pretty decent choice. 
uh, especially for this stage. The AK-5 is one of the weapons you can find at this stage, but it's blue, so fuck that. So, we're going with a marine loadout with M4 and M1014. And, of course, this weapon is blue, too. Ready to rip for launch. Move. Who in all the god of fuck decides that some or the majority of the weapons here should be blue? I mean, I'm just gonna switch to the 416 at once. Because I've had it with these fucking blue guns. I had it up to here with these blue guns. In fact, I'm going to switch to the Scar H. I picked the 416 up during another mission, so I'm gonna pick the Scar H. And of course, everyone's waiting for me to get into the boat. We're all in the dark about what's happening, Marines, but this is your opportunity to help shed some light. Don't fuck it up. Okay, so we're Marines. Check. Lots of people on the Valkyrie depending on us. This is much bigger than the Valkyrie, son. Look at it! We're nearly posted to it! Any idea how much time we got before she goes under? Or not? Uh, wasn't the ship hit what by exactly an EMP? What exactly are we eyes on for, Agent? The Titan's a big motherfucking ship! Sit back and enjoy the ride, Marine. You'll be great when we get there. You're leading us into the unknown. What's to enjoy? Irish, come on! You're here to do a job and I'm calling the fucking shots, okay? Yes, sir! Bitch. Come again, Marine. Just enjoy the ride, like you said. Why on the fucking earth are these people the smart mouthing so much? I don't see anyone. Where the fuck is the crew? Oh my god. She's taking in water. I can't believe it. It's a we'll ship, it they can't them. think. Someone has killed her. Move it! Sir! Where should we go? How do we get in? Go around! Circular, yeah. Look for a hole breach or something. There, hole in the BGB. We've seen that damage before. Chinese anti-ship missile. Drive through, wrecker. This should be the spot. Oh. It's not in range of the Shanghai EMP weapon. Several hours of report data data. Never saw. That's why we're here. You better move fast. Yeah, if we're crawling this Push shit. Up, I better use the shotgun. I wonder if anyone would actually miss Pack if I should just shot him in the ass. I also want to point oh, out shit. that. I wasn't actually oh, you got an exit strategy of this thing meaning to make this a snarky video. It just became so when I couldn't take the silliness of the game exactly any longer. Watch your step. We're on sea deck and we're heading for the damage control central. Look for hatch G46. That hatch leads to a route all the way through. All right, where is it? That way. Move ahead. I don't actually expect to find anything right now. Hmm, a P90, but I already have it, so it's not like I need to pick it up. Where to now, Kovic? Like I said, hatch G46 should be here somewhere. Find it. Keep looking. Oh. Of course, it was us who Where's have to found it. We let me help you with that. Can Put someone please check our back? We're going down into that. You could swim, right, Marine? Right. That's actually a valid question. Where we should arrive above sea level. Gear up. Yeah. 
You love what the motherfucker says. Jump in. I really love when video games do this. They just take the control away from you for a, for a few seconds and think that's alright, and it's not. It's really not. At least they made the swimming a bit awkward, but hey. Yeah, I'm not going to comment anything here. I don't feel I need to, so... Or the fact that we're stuck. At least it, I haven't actually spotted it, that much of glitches so far, and that's a good thing. I mean, the last time we Listen, went through... Survivors, be mechanical. We have to move. Water level is rising fast. Everyone good to go? Go too good. Close. Sounds coming from just up ahead. Come on. Oh, Sir, sounds like an SOS. Someone could be trapped. Don't know that, Sergeant. What happened to searching for intel and survivors? This ain't the time or place. You get that, Sergeant? Tens of thousands of lives depend on us right now. Not a fucking handful. Even a handful counts. We ain't you. More than you think. Now fucking move! It's not mechanical, so... Engine room? Yes. The whole floor is underwater. Shit. I think the water's rising. Our job is to get the intel out before the ship goes on. Fucking great. She's filling up. Okay, and you're not supposed to go in there? Or do they just hate following me like always? They're on the other side of that door. Get in there quickly. Down here. Hey, the water's rising. You gotta help us out. This is the only way out of here. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out. Step aside, Marie. Fuck, it's building shut. Shoot it open! They're dead already. Let's move. Fuck we are. We're not leaving them. Look, even if we had a torch, it would take nine minutes to cut the welds. At the rate the water's rising, when we do get them out, they'll be corpses. We need them. That's an order. You heard Garrison. Man, fuck you. How long, soldiers? Give me that. Is he oh. and the fucking oh, it, idiot? Uh, sorry. Let's go. Move. Move. Son of a bitch. I'll get him for that Get his ass. Wrecker, we gotta go. Hey, they locked us in here. This won't be fair that we're tired here. Who locked you in? They locked us in and just left us here. I don't know why. They launched the missile into the ship and then boarded it? <coughs> it doesn't make sense. No, it actually doesn't go make on, sense, go. but that is hey, due to poor writing. No, please! <coughs> Tell my mom! Tell my mom help! I can't die like this! I can't die like this! You know, it could have been a moving scene if this had been a better game. But right now, the pretty much everyone you're in doesn't really help to make the story immersible or even one you care about. So, I mean, why on earth should I care about them? We get the fuck off this piece of junk. About fucking time. Back to the balcony. I hear voices. Yeah, that's because you're crazy. On your signal, Rick. We'll take them down. All right. No, you have never ever taken anyone down in your entire life. All you do is follow me while I shoot stuff. And why I left you to keep doing that is fucking beyond me at this point. Okay, so there are Chinese troops on board for some ungodly reason. There's no apps. 
there's no reason for them to still be on board. Or, well, there is one, but like I said, that's spoiler. The problem is that even if you know that spoiler, the fact that... Yeah, I'm just gonna spoil it. It's an old game. Uh, the old guy, the husband, is actually not the hus husband of Hannah. It is uh, the admiral everyone. It is President Canada that everyone thought was dead. And the reason that it doesn't make sense is they had to know he was not on board the title. They know he escaped, but they can't just figure out, oh, he's got to be on a on a carrier that's way out to sea. No. And you certainly don't attack a carrier. Oh, more to the point, she was out of range of the blast. Why the fuck didn't the sea with anti-ship system handle it? And more to the point, uh, some of the sailors claims to have been welded in. Now, the crew of a carrier... Uh, compare that to the Valkyrie that we just got a got a walk through. Uh, the, these are not enough soldiers to carry an effective boarding, especially not, not since we don't see any corpses. Now this is Hollywood tactic at its finest. They basically say this is how we do it and. And this is why it makes no fucking sense for them to remain on board. Yeah, for some reason, these people are still standing around. I mean, do I even have to explain what's wrong with this? I mean, this thing was just pretty much dipped in water. And they're still standing around like nothing happened. Oh, God. Why do I even bother with this shit? Come on, dice. I know you can do better. I know you can do better. Uh, and yeah, there's a, of course a weapons case here, but, and I need that because I just ran out of ammo, so I'm just gonna switch to JK5C. Finish the job. Come on, where's the next guy? Oh wait, need to take cover. Uh, I should also mention that these airplanes should have by now rolled down and crushed us. Just because I want to point out every single inconsistent... I mean, look at this campaign. This could have been a good campaign. This could have been a really good campaign. Also, is that the Valkyrie next to us? Because if that's the case, there should be marines on it that can act support of our operations. Now it's a kind of neat thing that I can fall down into this corridor and fight this way. It's kind of neat. But yeah, is that one of the Valkyrie's destroyers or what the fuck? Oh, I almost shot one of my own guys. You know, it wouldn't have been much of much of a loss, really. Yeah, and I died because I was stupid. Um, shooting explosive barrels, not really the best thing to do, you know. 
So we're gonna switch out and we're gonna grab the G36. No, we're gonna get grab the ace actually. Stay cool. Come on, show me that you can do a little bit at least. Yeah, I'm gonna run back and grab a better weapon. It appears that the entire task force is pretty much under attack. And yeah, we're gonna grab the Type 88. Because right now, much of the Valkyrie's escorts seems to have taken a lot of fire. However, well, at least in this case, it's a bit more plausible, since obviously the escorts of the Valkyrie have been subjected to DMT. So at least this time I can have a bit of suspension of disbelief about it. But it's still not all that logical, really. Let's see here. Did we miss anyone on this side? No, we didn't. Okay, so I'm trying to knife the guy. He's trying to shoot me. None of us seems to actually succeed with it. Okay. And they basically teleported their way to the boat. Now, I have to say, this is not a bad way to get us on a boat and do some boaty things. Uh, yeah, apparently we got a bit too far, a bit carried away. I mean, it's a very nice way to introduce combat boats and everything, but why is our combat boat so much stronger than the enemy's? I mean, it doesn't make much sense. And then they play this triumphant battlefield theme, thinking that we're supposed to care a lot about the scene. I don't. At least they haven't actually underestimated the kind of speed a combat boat can reach. And they haven't actually underestimated the speed a cruiser or destroyer can reach either, for that matter. Yeah, I can't see what I'm... Oh, there we are. Hello. I mean, they're using the ribs as gunboat with, you know, just one gunner on board, but that's a very inefficient use of the ribs. I mean, you don't have that many fucking ribs on a boat anyhow. Also, I kind of wonder why that destroyer doesn't really care about us. I mean, the Valkyrie is a is uh, in essentials a amphibious combat ship, meaning it's not really the best option for fighting off a destroyer. But yeah, or maybe that was one of our escorts. I don't know. 
it's highly possible that was actually one of the Valkyrie's escorts, more like it, but... Yeah, just get off my face, please. What do you think I'm trying to do? That helo landed in the water. I just want to point that out. Also, why is that helo not using standoff tactics? I mean, first of all, the logical cause for helo to use against the boat is to just back off and use standoff munitions. And for some reason, we crashed the boat while trying to get in. That doesn't make any sense either. Stay alert. Of course they are. What the fuck did you expect they would do? Yeah, we'll just go with... Let's see here. We'll take the farmers. Let's bring some friendly to this firefight. That rate of fire is pretty sweet. Oh, that's the enemy. I didn't actually see that was the enemy, but let's throw a grenade and say hello to Mr. Enemy. I mean, this is, this is what I'm talking about right here, what should have happened upon the, upon the Titan. Here we have a few Jarheads who are actually armed and are trying to resist. We should have seen more of this from the Titan. But apparently... Is something wrong? Oh, never mind. Uh, we never actually get to see that for some un strange and weird reason. But basically this entire game is based around weird... Okay, so someone is either throwing a grenade down here or they're spawning at our feet. What about the people with Garrison? The man and woman? What man and woman? The Chinese couple. There's Chinese all over the boat. Ah, oh, fuck! We gotta get back to the bridge. Now! To the command bridge. Lead on, Ricker! Watch it, guys. Not sure who's friendly and who's enemy. Really? You're going there? I don't know why, but it seems like the these fucking ships are seriously understaffed. There should be more guys running for the armory right now. There's no gunner left. Uh, there's no gunner left in that helicopter. Shooting it down now is just a waste of everyone's time. Let's see here. We can... Ooh, nice. Confined space version. Let's just grab that. Or we could grab the cluster version. I mean, we're grabbing two launchers here. So we might as well make the most of it. Actually, yeah. uh, never mind. Push on. 
I mean, if I have to point out all the inconsistencies, we're gonna be here all day. You don't have time for that, I don't have time for that. Now, remember that little thing we grabbed earlier? Or is it... Yeah, here it is. Fire! I'm a bit disappointed because what I what I got there is really a kind of air burst, air burst weapon. Oh, there's someone behind me again. I mean, the game becomes ridicu ridiculous when you realize that people behind you barely do any damage. Now, last time I checked, I was playing on normal, but still. There's still a box in the way, you know? But like any modern shooter, Battlefield 4 seems content to let you solve all your problems simply by taking cover. I have to say, there's a part of me that wonders why the fuck I bother with this thing. Please, can't someone else do things for a change? I want to take a vacation. Head is in trouble. Brace the door. <sighs> Fuck, Pat, come on. <sighs> yeah, breaching the door is... Holy cow, she can fight. Where the hell is he? Garrison had him relocated. What? You left the side? He doesn't know who I am. What was I supposed to do? Fight him? I have kept the line of defense. Call command deck. Ask Garrison where he's located. He'll listen to Jesus you. Jesus Christ, Hannah. The command deck is cut off. Let's get the hell out of here. Tube soul. Let's Number go. six. You're full of surprises, aren't you, Hannah? Eyes open. How many helicopters and aircraft do they even commit to this fucking fight? And suddenly Valkyrie's anti-air goes on? I mean, what the fuck, man? It couldn't go on when there was a lot of bunch of choppers around, but it goes off now for some ungodly reason. Never mind the fact that just look at the background here. There's a lot of helicopters repeating in the background. It's like a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Seriously, why does game makers keep doing this? They just give us an absurd amount of... And by the way, this stage would be much cooler if it was repeated as the last stage in the game. The last stage in the game is fucking stupid. And it basically is the same thing we're doing right now. There is a part of me that would actually want to take another look at Battlefield 3 campaign. Because, as far as I can remember, it was a lot less stupid. Yeah, I don't think for a second that there is a helicopter that can get past a Seawiz system like that. Oh, 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 oh,
It's trying to drop more shooters. Okay, what the fuck? Let's see if we can get the other thing. Yeah, there's the seaweed. But apparently we... Okay, that's not a very realistic way of doing it. Let's see if we can find more ordnance somewhere around here. We're gonna need it. Yeah, apparently we can't change explosives here, but we can at least switch to another weapon. Um, uh, yeah, not really sure that's needed though. I think we're gonna switch to P90. Apparently we got air support, but I can't really tell from where. Okay, so up here is basically the... Yeah, where the fuck, where the fuck are they? There's the box. So, we're gonna switch to the M-Law, basically. The M-Law is the better option. Then we'll switch to the Singer. Now, it's not really realistic to assume that a Singer can actually crack at this range. And might I add the fact, the obvious fact that a helicopter would be destroyed at by such a hit. Of course, this game doesn't really care about that. We're gonna switch to the whatever that's called now again. So we're gonna look for more helicopters, see where they come from. And, like I said, there is a lot of unnecessary helicopters in the sky here. There are also a lot of ships here. And if these are enemy ships, I wonder why they just doesn't deploy uh, more rib boats and board us. I mean, that would be the logical option, wouldn't it? <laughs> We're all doomed. Can't make sure he lives. Marines! Marines, you tell Garrison. He has to trust her. Thank you. Oh. Wrecker! Wrecker! You take the lead! It's, yeah, it's not like Go. there's any other obvious candidate Go. for the job. I mean, Go. Pac is a young on, idiot. Go. Irish is some kind of weird point, squad leader. thing. And Hannah is an unknown quantity. What do you order? However, What's Hannah is also garrison? arguably one of the more competent people. Looks like you're back in command. Looks like I'm back in command. What the fuck was that shit? I haven't actually been in command all, all throughout this game. I have answered to the whims of you shits. I haven't actually had a choice about it either. You don't know what I got or not, because you are not storming the place. This is as far as from the standard breach bang and clear you can come, because we all should be first through the fucking door. Clear! Clear! Captain Garrison, the bridge is clear. That was an Jay. unknown voice. Stable. Where's Agent Kovic? He didn't make it, sir. Son of a bitch. 
Thanks to Tombstone, the Valkyrie still floats. But she doesn't have a crew. It's a wounded warship, though. A long way from home, boys. Hostile waters. And no crew. I think we've seen the worst yet. So I'm glad to have you Marines on board. Yeah, but you still don't have a crew. I want a debriefing in 15 minutes. Tombstone's yours. Can I get a transfer?